Naval Aviation has a robust reporting culture. From the stories that begin, There I Was, to ASAP and the 3750.6 Sierra reporting requirements, aviation and aviation maintenance personnel have worked to identify hazards and prevent recurrence. But we at the Safety Center are often asked, when should I write a HAZREP? Or more pointedly, what's the point of a HAZREP? Hello, I'm Lieutenant Commander Shannon Martin, call sign Fraggle, and I'm one of the aviation safety analysts at the Naval Safety Center. Today, I'd like to help provide some of the answers to those questions. Let's start with the second question. What's the point of writing a HAZREP? HAZREPs provide a four-pronged approach to maintaining operational capability. They inform the fleet of the hazard and remedial action taken. They recommend corrective actions to prevent or mitigate the hazard in the near term. They provide justification to long-term fund solutions to hazards and provide data for trend analysis. HAZREPs tell the fleet when an incident occurred, how it started, and what it looked like. They provide information on what to do in a similar situation. As a young lieutenant, a sister squadron released a HAZREP detailing an aircraft controllability problem and providing information on the steps the crew used to safely land the helicopter aboard the ship. Within a few months, one of our own crews encountered the same controllability problem at a low altitude, and the aircraft commander's familiarity with the HAZREP enabled him to diagnose the issue, recover the aircraft at less than 50 feet above the water, and limp it back to the ship for a safe landing. In addition to educating personnel on what to do to prevent a mishap once the hazard manifests, HAZREPs should also provide information on how the Swiss cheese aligned to cause the hazard, as well as what factors prevented the event from being a mishap so that personnel, squadrons, and the NAE can find solutions to prevent the hazard and a possible mishap in the future. A procedure change, a new tool, a part redesign, or maybe just additional training. Safety reporting provides NAVAIR the evidence they need to prioritize program funding. When BASH reporting was low, NAE believed the bird hazard was not an issue and did not fund the program. When BASH reporting increased and NAE realized the problem still existed, the BASH program received funding again. This BASH program provides information to fish and wildlife representatives on which species are a hazard and which areas resulting in improved NOTAMs and education for aviators along with mitigation strategies at naval airfields. Take a look at your community safety system working group top 10 and how that translates to the overall top 10. Safety reporting is a prime driver in setting priorities to where that money goes. It is, in fact, one of the programs of record driving NAVAIR's risk assessment for safety systems. The Naval Safety Center and the Naval Aviation Enterprise use the data collected through hazard reporting to analyze trends in naval aviation, which can reveal supply problems, procedural problems, and manning problems within certain sections or across the enterprise. When Congress, the CNO, or the Marine Commandant want to know why mishaps are happening, we can only tell them our analysis based on what you report. Ready Room Confessions help spread the word within the squadron, and ASAP help provide the information on the hazard to the rest of your wing. But HAZREPs provide that information to the wider community and the fleet as necessary, and they also help provide information for NAVAIR to get the funding to make those fixes. So when do you write a HAZREP? Well, 3750.6S provides specific guidance on required hazard reports, these include near mid-air collisions, unintentional out-of-control flight, embarked landing incidents that do not meet the mishap threshold, ATC hazards, VIZEPs, electromagnetic interference reports, friendly fire reports, BASH, laser strikes, and hazards involving human factors. That last one involves a pretty broad definition, so think of it this way. Is it a hazard to naval aviation? Did you just say to yourself as the adrenaline rushed through your body and your heart tried to beat out of your chest, wow, that was close? Did your crew or wingman just say, knock it off? Did you just have a phys -ep that did not qualify as a mishap? If your FLIR ball hits a Norwegian runway, you might ought to submit a HAZREP. Or any part of your aircraft on any runway. If your wingman buddy lazes you, you might ought to submit a HAZREP. If your co-pilot's NVD battery mount causes an actual helmet fire, you probably ought to submit a HAZREP. Did you just get back from a flight and have to submit a flash report, or did fatigue and complacency cause a hazard during your flight? 
Another great resource for finding HAZREPs or determining what should be a HAZREP is your own ASAP reports. Every time you come back from a flight, you should be filling out the ASAP. Maintainers are also recommended to fill out ASAP reports when they find things that are going wrong. Hi, if you have a circumstance where you say to yourself, I need to talk to the skipper about this, or it's an opportunity for true confessions with your fellow air crewmen, or you have an unusual ASAP report, it's probably time to submit a hazard report. Talk to your ASO or send an email with what you know, date, flight, aircraft, situation, to your ASO. Like a Boy Scout, be prepared to provide more information. If the anonymity of an individual or organization is a concern, ASOs can send the report from a senior command or send an anonymous HAZREP to the safety center. Above all, never fail to report. It is a terrible feeling to know that you had information that could have stopped a mishap from ever happening. For more information on hazard reporting, see the 3750.6S, Chapter 5. For instructions on how to enter your information into WES, see the Waymer's Operating Guide, Chapter 6. And as always, if you have questions, contact your analyst at the Naval Safety Center. We're happy to help.